beloved second home at Warm Springs, Georgia, the body of Franklin Delano Roosevelt moves on the first stages of its journey to his final resting place. On a six-horse field artillery caisson, escorted by representatives of every branch of the nation's armed forces, the casket passes grief-stricken throngs of people en route from the station to the White House. of sufferers from infantile paralysis sorrowfully bid farewell to their great friend and benefactor. The president's dog follows his beloved master. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Terry Mark Iser. Uh, I'm a fourth generation funeral director in the western side of Cincinnati. If the family was coming in for the first time, they would park their cars in the parking lot, proceed up this way, and usually I would be in here to greet them. This is my grandfather, this is my father, and this is my husband. Uh, those are all family uh, created pictures. Uh, they're there so everybody knows the heredity, I, the heritage that belongs here. Uh, you want to go upstairs and look yeah. at caskets? A lot of people buy a steel casket. These are 20 gauge. They come in 20 gauge, 18 gauge, uh, 16 gauge. Protective means it has this rubber gasket and a locking device. Some are protective, some are not protective. The rewarding part is helping people through a difficult time. The stressful part is, is everything going to run smooth, making sure you got enough help for uh, parking lots, for people, you know, there's so many add-ons that you have to make sure are taken care of. We haven't forgotten any yet, but there's always a fear you could. Aboard a special train beginning the 24-hour trip back to Washington, the 31st President of the United States leaves Warm Springs forever. And all along the 700-mile route, people gather to honor President Roosevelt and his ideals. We use a lead car which is one that leads the hearse. And traditionally, it is the lead car. If there is a religious uh, affiliate, he would be behind the lead car. Then would come the hearse. Then there would come the immediate family. And then the rest of the, them are behind that. Heaven only knows, heaven only knows. Children take a lot out of everybody. The people that dig the grave, to the funeral director, to the embalmer, to motorcycle escorts. It's draining. Um, I would never say I'm religious, but I have a deep faith. I think you would have to have some kind of faith. I'm not saying in any particular re religion, some kind of respect for life in order to do this. In order to serve the people, if you didn't respect life, I don't think you could really um, 
be genuine with them. This is a service in a ministry, what we do. Uh, it's also a profession, and it's my means of support. But the important thing is to serve the people the best way I can. That's the most important thing.